<laughs> I guess we can start. It's nine o'clock. Uh, so I'll start off by saying that uh, our facilitator is Russ Harris from Region A. Russ has been a real asset to the town of Franklin in many, many ways. And uh, he's, uh, I just don't know enough good to say about you. You, you, you've done great. And we appreciate all the services that Region A and you uh, give to the town. So with that uh, introduction, I'm gonna turn it over to Russ Harris. Okay. Good morning, everybody. Um, we'll go ahead. I'm going to talk a little bit on the front end, and then hopefully, th if this day goes well, I don't talk a whole lot after that. This is your day, and uh, you, you get out of it what you want to get out of it. Um, I'm going to start off with just a little bit of introductions. I'm going to go around. Everybody can just say, answer three questions for me. Um, your name. Hopefully, on a Saturday morning, we all have that one down. Why do you serve? If you're professional staff, um, you can say a little bit about your job or how you came to this. And if you're an elected official, you are absolutely in a position of service. And so why is it, why is it that you're here? Why are you doing this? Um, and then finally, what does success look like today? It's Saturday morning, you go home tonight, you're talking to your friends or significant other, and they ask you about your day. What would it take for this to have been worth your time and a successful day for you? Uh, so I'll go ahead and just start, um, start us off. Again, my name is Russ Harris. I work in Community and Economic Development for the Southwestern Commission. We are the Council of Governments for the seven far western counties, so we are owned by those counties, and we work with the towns within those counties as well. We also have departments, uh, the Area Agency on Aging is out of our office, we have the Workforce Development Board out of our office, and then some of you may have heard of the RPO, which is the Rural Planning Organization, that's our transportation planning um, that also comes um, from us. And. Um, I got into this, I think, you know, as I was younger, I worked in education a lot. I always ended up working in access and equity issues. It was all, I worked in college access. We were working with low-income, first-generation students to help them go to college. And then I always kind of joked that I had the most boring midlife crisis ever and that I went back to school, got a degree in public affairs, and then got this job working in government. Um, and then I find myself working in access and equity issues again. A lot of things we work on are broadband and housing right now. Those are issues that are bubbling up in the region. And those issues are all about access and equity. Um, and, and then I also I like complicated problems. I like puzzles. I like things that take a long time. We're trying to put one piece at a time in place, and we may put that piece in place, and it may mess up something else, and then we got to go figure that out a little bit. You know, I'm like working on things like that. Um, and for me, success is you guys getting out of the day what you need to get out of it, and me not doing a whole lot of talking after those first 15 minutes. Um, so with that, let's start, start over here. Uh, Mike Lewis, town council member. Uh, I serve because it helps me fulfill a lifelong desire to serve my community. And I would say that success today would look like we at least come out of here with some sort of framework to move forward okay. on what we want to do accomplish this year. Okay. So, have a plan. Um, if your definition of success is a facilitator that has good handwriting and spells well, you're not going to leave here very happy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Travis? Uh, yeah, Travis Talent. I'm um, town clerk and HR director. Do I have to say anything else? <laughs> um, the steady paycheck helps watch. Yeah, right. It's a little different if your staff. Well, what does a good day look like today, Travis? I mean, just from uh, your standpoint. <laughs> Uh, good day to me. Um, I would think that the town council will have an effective vision and a productive vision for the town. Okay. Okay. I'm Sarah Bishop. I work in the finance department here at the town. Um, and I, I agree as far as the successful day. Good, good vision, a good plan, good conversation. Okay. Tim Chambers, the Franklin Fire Department, is the chief. I love helping people and playing like the series. <coughs> what was the last thing you said? A good plan. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, morning. I'm Danny Bates. I'm the interim first chief. Um, I do it because I enjoy what I do. I enjoy the interaction with the people and trying to help people and make things better. And my idea of success for today would be to identify the problems, come up with a reasonable solution, and try to make overall community a better place. Okay. <coughs> Thank you. 
I'm John Henning, the town attorney uh, since 2006, which is getting to sound like a long time ago. Um, I've served at the pleasure of the council, which I guess I've kept at least 51% of, to my knowledge. Uh, um, I, as always, just hope for good consensus and good direction uh, for positive growth for the town. I'm looking at my other, my other sheet. All right, I'm going to go free form at this point. I'm going to start just putting words all over this sheet. All right, so. Um, I'm Summer Woodard. I serve at the pleasure of the council as well. I'm the town manager. One reason why I serve, I love the team atmosphere um, that I think we have with the council and mayor and, of course, the staff. And also, it's our hometown, and uh, any ways we can come together and make progress for future generations, I think that's always a plus. A couple things to accomplish today come up with some tangible items that are easily achievable and look at ways we can implement some of those in the budget this year. Uh, Bob Scott and uh, I'm serving because uh, I came up in the late 1950s and 60s and I saw all the abuse of power and the people who stood up in public service for civil rights and uh, so I just sort of always uh, admired those and I think that's why over the years I've stayed in some kind of public service. Uh, the thing that I want to come out with this today is not necessarily whether something's measurable, but whether it endures for years after we meet today. Yeah, I'm Joe Collins, and I serve uh, at the pleasure of the voters like we all do, but it's just something that I've always felt like it's kind of a duty to at least put yourself out there. If they don't elect you, then you can't do nothing about that. But anyway, and success today to me would be walking out of here with low blood pressure and thinking that went well. <laughs> <laughs> Stress-free? Yeah, at least by the end of the day. We may, we may have some signs, but... Jack Horton. Um, I've been around forever in different capacities. <laughs> what do I serve? Well, after 36 years working as a staff member in local government, uh, dealing with a multitude of issues and then doing volunteer work with the City and County Managers Association, I, uh, one of the reasons I decided to run for town council besides the fact that I got encouraged by several people was that I thought that perhaps because of my experience and the knowledge that I've gained over the years, I might be able to be a benefit to my community and my town. And so that's the reason uh, that I decided to run. I heard a fellow speak one time. He said, knowledge is like a backpack. You, you, you fill it up and put it on your back and walk around. If you don't ever share it with anyone, it doesn't do a lot of good for anybody. Just get tested. So I think if you've got something that you can share that benefits other people, especially in your own hometown, you should take advantage of that. And that's, that's really the motivation of why uh, I like to serve. I think you have to, I think you have to like people too to be in this business. It's kind of hard if you don't like people to, to be successful in the two of them. So I like working with people. Success today, uh, and I've been through several retreats over the years. Uh, and my, my idea of success is to be able to come up with uh, some specific uh, challenges, goals, objectives uh, that we can look at and some specific things that we can do to implement those uh, over the next year or over the next five years. Uh, it's always good just to talk about things, but unless you actually come up with a plan to do something about it, it's not a good conversation. So I'd like to see some specific objectives and goals come out of today's discussion. Okay. Excellent. <coughs> uh, my name is David Culpepper. I'm a council member. Why do I serve? Um, to make 
Franklin and Macon County, our community, the best place in which to live, work, and play. Um, I want the community to uh, come into its full potential and, and, and really be what I think it can be uh, for its residents. Um, what does success look like today? Um, <coughs> recognizing that outside of the box thinking is not always crazy and that sometimes we're we're just looking at things from a different perspective. Like to me, that's a six. To everybody over there, that's a nine. But we're looking at the same thing. And I hope our discourse is calm enough and rational enough for us to realize we're looking at the same picture from different angles. Uh, don't discount somebody's point of view because they see it differently than you. And uh, maybe value outside of the box ideas. Okay. Uh, Barbara McRae, I'm a council member. Um, I love community building. Uh, I've been involved in a lot of nonprofits, Main Street program, that sort of thing in the past, and have really enjoyed being an elected official. It's a different way to get things done and can be very effective, can be very frustrating. Um, but I have a lot of. Well, that's a good one. There's the <laughs> Strong middle powers. <laughs> Like that. Now we have to talk about the three-legged stool. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and su success today to me would be, I kind of agree with Jack, I'd like to have some kind of a, a picture of where we will be going and an idea of how to get there. Okay, so a good plan and strategy to get there. I may have to say. Right. <laughs> Diana Mashburn, uh, town council member. Um, why I serve, I guess, of course everybody here in the room pretty much knows that uh, I came in as a point, appointed member because of my husband. I often think what he would think right now when I kept saying to him, how long are you going to do this and you need to, and then here I am. But once I got into it, I've uh, just other than a few years of my life, I mean, I've always lived in Macon County, but I've primarily lived in the city limits. And um, I retired as uh, from public uh, work in the clerk of court office, and I've always liked helping people. So I do enjoy it. And um, as far as success, what it looks like today, um, I'm coming to, we all have things that we are passionate about. Uh, something that's passionate to me is different to somebody else. So uh, to be open to everybody's views and uh, just coming out where, kind of like Joe said, if we leave with our blood pressure low, then I think we've had a good day. <laughs> No, and I think that's an excellent, that's something I wrote down for parents for the day, just balance. And everybody gets into this because they've got a passion for something, right? And then at some point, you've got to learn patience around that passion because things don't move as quick in government as we want them to, and everybody else has got a different point of view. So I think that's, that's an excellent point. Justin. Uh, Justin Setkin, town planner and, and IT director for the town of Franklin. Um, I'm born and raised in Macon County, Franklin. And I've always saw myself as a public servant you know, in my previous career for here. And that's what I've always kind of worked for because I want to, being the planner, I want to see Franklin and the county grow and evolve and be a better place to live. So that's the reason why I serve. Um, success today, I hope whatever items we got on the agenda, we come up with a plan. And have a goal of how to achieve it and how to follow through with it and even how to see how it's working in the future. Make sure, you know, kind of review the process after it's completed. Okay. Uh, Chris Walter, I'm the street maintenance supervisor. Um, uh, I serve because Town of Franklin had a need and I was fortunate enough to check a lot of boxes to fill that need. Um, <laughs> My success today, today being my sixth day with the town of Franklin, is just to get, a, just to get an understanding of how the process works and, and uh, where me and my crew fit into that process.
good deal. Um, so nobody got into this to get rich. I think everybody's got something else they could be doing, right? And uh, so service is a common thing, but also sounds like as far as wanting to plan, actionable steps, and not going out of here stressed out with our blood pressure out the roof or some of the common common things for the day. Um,